Yeah, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you something about the Java FX combo box and we will uh, base this tutorial on the two classes from our table view tutorial, the person class where we delete the get column function. We don't need this here. And yeah, it will be the same objects we s will show in the combo box as in the table view tutorial and we can add some more lines here. So this is uh, the basic beginning where we start. And yeah, yeah, and we will add the combo box here from types of persons. So it's uh, yeah, very uh, yeah, nearly the same as uh, with the table view. Only a few things will change. So here we add the combo box, generate a new one, and it, now we can add it to our scene. And you see, oh, it's an empty combo box where nothing is in it. So we will add some items to it with the same method set items and we already got our observable list here down here from the table view tutorial which basically generates some person objects and add them to an observable JavaFX list returning this to our combo box and yeah now the combo box is a bit bigger so there are some objects already stored in so you see person add whatever this is because we do uh, we, are, we need to override our to string method of our object so we will um, override this here to string so and yeah now we can decide what should be shown in the combo box so I set first name oh, and last name no, so and yeah now I started and you'll see already working here our yeah our objects are shown correctly so the birth date is also added but not shown here because it's not necessary so I could edit here in the to string method but we won't need it this is the really really basics how a combo box work how you can initialize it with some objects um, but that's not all I want to show there's something more we will uh, predefine a selected value with the selection model and write select one for example so this will select the uh, object with the index one so this will be John Doe and as you can see it's already pre-selected for us uh, another very useful thing is the change listener so we will put this on the value property and add a listener which call is called changed changed listener of the type person and yeah so some unimplemented method so that's the changed met uh, method which is called when yeah, which is basically called when the value is changed and you got here the person arc you want the, this is the person before and this is the person which is now or I will tell after so I guess this is more yeah this is better name for it and yeah what we can do now here is so we have to check if a uh, person before is uh, null because on the first switch wh when nothing is selected it's null because uh, it changed from nothing to the first selected item and this would call a null pointer exception so we need to add this and then we can write uh, for example person before good first name 
just uh, some output to demonstrate how it works prison after get first name and for sure this is out oh, th that was not the correct so this here and now it's working and you see if I select random user you see from John to random from random to max and so on change this to make it a bit more graphical yeah, to look to look at that it looks nicer so you can exactly see from which object it was switched this is uh, yeah, so we can ch uh, check if something changed in this and there is another really useful option of this common box it's called the uh, cell factor or the uh, yeah cell, a cell factory which uh, where you can define there's some things like the color or the fonts or so of the current cell so I will show you cell factory we will create a new one call back from JavaFX util yeah, that's the right one and yeah it generates ma uh, a lot of things already for us so it created a new list cell person object yeah and here we need to create a new list cell from yeah from the type of person and this is a new list cell and there are some oh, it's a person here so here we overwrite another method this method is called update item which is always called if yeah the value changes and so not only the value changes also if some value was added to the combo box which uh, w is called uh, with the initialization of the object or of the control and then we can set uh, we can look if for example person's first name is equals to, uh, to max for example then we can set a uh, text fill to well, let's say red and now the cell where the name max is at the first name of the object we can uh, uh, not we can uh, the the bear the text will be set to red so I will demonstrate this oh, this is zero ah, right so this will get a no, no pointer here because we have to check if person is empty because if there is an empty one then it wouldn't work so if it's uh, not empty and we have to set the text because otherwise we would set the fill color but no text to the cell so this is where we have everything to do on our own because we override the per, uh, default method and yeah now with an else so because we have to set something in there and now we start it so we see this one is red the other ones are black as default and we have to set something more we have to call the super update item so that not only the yeah the graphics so what you see the colors and so are set correctly Oops, update item um but everything else is updated so there are many references needed for example the, that you have a highlighter here or here 
and yeah this is how you can color change the color of the text in your combo box and how to listen to your properties this is uh, basically the function of the JavaFX combo box there are some more functions which are not so relevant for common use so I guess this was the most usable functions here. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, write a comment and I hope I see you soon.